There's many things you can find in abundance on the internet, and one of those is a litany of blogs on cooking meals on the cheap. Every mum, especially those who, like me, have at times found themselves cash strapped with small mouths to feed, will have at one point or no, another Googled low cost meals. In fact, the term pulls up around 2 billion results in Google search engine. There you can find a smorgasbord of tips for how those on a low income can adjust their eating habits to fit their budget from dedicated websites to supermarket websites to magazines. One of the big six energy companies even provides free advice on how to cook meals that keep your energy bills down. So, we can all agree that giving advice to low-income families on cutting their spending by cooking cheaper budget meals is uncontroversial. Yes? Well, apparently not. At least according to the established liberal media, who all got a collective aneurysm yesterday when Conservative MP Lee Anderson dared to suggest that some people could avoid having to turn to food banks if they were given skills on budgeting and low-cost meals. Let's listen to his comments in the Commons yesterday. My invitation is to everybody on that side of the house, come to Ashfield and work with me for a day in my food bank and see the, 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 the brilliant scheme we've got in place where when people come now for a food parcel they have to register for a, a budgeting course and a cooking course and what we do at the food bank we show them how to cook uh, cheap, cheap and nutritious meals on a budget. We can make a meal for about 30 pence a day. That was uh, MP Lee Anderson. As you can see, what he said there was with his work at his food bank in his constituency, they also teach people how to budget and how to cook low-cost meals. That was it. Of course, if we teach families who don't have budgeting skills and are not used to cooking low-cost meals from scratch how to do so, some, though not all, would avoid having to turn to food donations. Of course, that's common sense. And yet... Tory MP blames food poverty on lack of cooking skills, The Guardian lamented. Tory MP, most poor people can't cook properly and boast meals only cost 30p. That was the mirror. No, he did not, you headline grabbing amoebas. All he said was that massive needs for food banks would be mitigated if families were given skills in budgeting and given better exposure to low-cost food options. Perhaps, he said, so a tad clumsily, but tomato, tomato. Besides, books on this very issue that Lee Anderson was raising are aplenty. Jack Monroe, for example, a food poverty campaigner, has a book titled Cooking on Bootstraps, which is a fancy way of saying, if you're dead poor and need to feed your family on the cheap, read this book. She also, by the way, has an accompanying website entirely dedicated to giving low-income family, families tips on cheaper eating and is highly recommended by none other than Nigella Lawson. ITV celebrity chef Phil Vickery has a book, Save Money, Good Diet, which, although grammatically questionable, is a guide for families who need to cook more budget meals. A similar book by celebrity chef Greg Wallace and Chris Bevan is called Eat Well for Less, Family Feast on a Budget. One author as well literally makes a living from being renowned as the one pound chef, insisting that you can cook meals for a pound a person. Jamie Oliver, infamous enemy of the beloved turkey twizzler and all round headache of a man, has the book called Save with Jamie, Shop Smart, Cook Clever, Waste Less. So let me get this right. When middle class celebs in cushy homes give poor families advice on how they can eat on cheap, it's seen as lifestyle advice worthy of millions of pounds uh, of book wages, pages and magazine splashes. But when a Tory MP who is a former coal miner and serves a deprived constituency expresses the exact same sentiment, he is subjected to a barrage of disgust. You've just got to love the double standards, don't you? Please, for goodness sakes, let's cut the outrage every time a Tory MP says something that in reality is just banal and commonsensical. Outraged media outlets need to get a grip, quite frankly. And let's cut the confected outrage.